Eugenia is awesome. Her yeah. mom was awesome. Tim Pei Pei, you know, and and uh, you know, Hill Harper was great. Uh, you know, it, it, yeah. When Jerry, you know, came at me with the script and it was playing, even though it was kind of another bad guy, pimp. Uh, I thought the um, the uh, the project is so current and you know it's important and it needs to be talked about, especially you know with all the human trafficking and forced prostitution that's going on today as we speak, whether it's in New York, Virginia, Texas, uh, I really didn't realize until I did my research, you know, for the character. So when I saw the script, I just felt like this was, this is so important for the times that we get this film. And I, I know Jerry's still in kind of the post-production phase, so it's, it's kind of like Naked Eye. It's like a, almost like a four-year journey, you know, yeah. right now. So, but uh, it's it was it was it was a film that you know for me I, I, we shot in New York that's my hometown so it's the first time I really got to work in my hometown so that's why I really really you know was really excited about it I actually got really really sick on the film but uh, so you'll see like this character you know I, I, I would, it'd be easy for me to say oh yeah it was part of the character but 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 actually I got. <laughs> I got really sick and I dropped like 60 pounds and it was it was kind of crazy oh, but but we still were able to finish it and everyone you know from the director the producers crew I mean just busted their ass I met uh, David Wren uh, well or originally yeah through through Kelly who uh, after he directed uh, Shanghai Kiss and which is a film that I loved uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see it but it's it's a great film um, and then uh, Dave introduced me to Henry Mu and Jason Yee. He told me, hey, why don't you take a look at this script? You know, why don't you look at this part of Simon? I was like, yeah, sure. I met the guys. And they're all from the East Coast. So, you know, we, we all had that East Coast vibe. So I was like, yeah, cool, man. Let's let's go. Let's go on this journey. Let's, let's do it. So then they asked me if I would direct the action. So, because uh, sometimes I when I want to act, I just want to do that. And But on this one, you know, it was like, Asian independent cause. Let's let's do it. So, besides acting, also set up all the action stuff. So that's kind of how I, how it all got involved. And then later on, it kind of evolved into a producing uh, position. So, kind of helped out a lot with post and you know troubleshot a lot of stuff that we were kind of you know working in and out. So, so it's been a three and a half to four year journey. Wow. Definitely. I mean, honestly, through the whole shoot, like acting was the last thing on my mind. I always felt like on that film that I wasn't prepared enough because it was so much that we were going in, like worrying about locations or, you know, prepping the action and directing the action and all that stuff, making sure everything was right. And, and you know, it's it was like the last thing, was like, oh, my scene, lines, oh shit, you know, so, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, yeah, so the process, you know, just, but everyone kind of just, we just all banded together, you know, we hit just like everybody else does in, in the indie world, you, you, you just hit all these obstacles and you just, you figure out a way to yeah. work through it, you know.